Hi, please subscribe and like and thank you. I want to give a special thanks to Everlast for my warm-up song, What It's Like. Thank you. Thanks for making that. Good song, guys. <laughs> I have some tips and hints for 2019 in this video for Neverwinter players about refining. This video will quickly cover a few different things in ways that I like to play, and it will be especially helpful if you're patient and don't live in the Neverwinter gaming world every minute, every day. This will not be the only way to do things, but it's my way. This is for players like Bad Dad 71 and Hillbilly Trollop. I want to give a special thanks to James Ritchie and Fuzzy Duckies for the heads up that on June 20th for the PC players, it will be the last day to trade in enchantments and insignias before the vendor stops exchanging items for some of the pain experienced for Mod 16. The first Neverwinter refining tip I have for you is to stock up if you prefer to do some of your own refining instead of buying refined items on the auction house. Would I recommend wait for the Wondrous Bazaar sales that come up? You can check the events calendar here to find the upcoming sales. And here we go. Wondrous Bazaar discounted. Click on the little diamond and you go to the Wondrous Bazaar store. And there we go. There are the discounts and you can get some additional discounts. If you don't have VIP, it will be 15%. But since I have level 12 VIP, I get a total of 40%. So I'll save a lot. However, before you buy, make sure you check the auction house. You can see how far down these are discounted, like the mark of potency rank four. If you did not have VIP and on a regular day, it would be 25,000 Astro Diamonds here. Here with my total discount, it's only 15,000. Now having pointed that out before you buy, although that's a great price, sometimes you can go here to the auction house. And before you buy, just make sure that the price isn't lower here than what you can get. What happens is players with a lot of AD will start buying these up and have stacks of them. And sometimes, let's face it, something hot comes up on the auction house or whatever, and they just need AD quick. So they'll start dropping it below the lowest price. Now here we're still good, or at least in my case, I'm good with the 40% off. It's still a little bit better to buy it on the Wondrous Bazaar than it would be for me to buy it on the auction house. But you just want to double check that, especially as this event goes on for a couple of days. Prices typically will start to drop. And sometimes, I, I mean, I frequently have bought things that have dropped down below, which you can get it in the Wondrous Bazaar. So that's a little heads up for you. The second Neverwinter refining hint or tip of 2019 I have is to watch that event calendar for the two huge sales that come up during the year. It's a great time. In this case, on June 20th, we'll have the Summer Promotional Charge event. Typically, ARC has things discounted in the Zen market that you can buy at a significant discount. And that makes it a great time to buy wards for refining. The prices will also drop in the auction house for a brief period. But you buy these and use them as needed instead of scrambling and paying higher prices back on the auction house if on some random day you just decide to refine they get much more expensive when you're out of those special event periods. And then you can just use them when you want to at the right price or sell them because the prices will climb again. I do want to point out that prices for all refining items will start to drop during this sale. So be careful to watch before you buy. I know I said that a couple of times already, but it's important. I'm trying to save you some astral diamonds here. The third Neverwinter refining hint or tip of 2019 I have for you is if you use alternate characters or alts like this one here then use the refining points from them to refine your non-character and account bound items so you don't burn through your RP with your main character or characters so this guy has about 350,000 refining points now my main character here has a little over 2 million but I want to save these refining points for character bound artifacts that I would not be able to transfer over to an alternate character for refining purposes. And for you newer players, I'll go ahead and do one of these just so you can see. I'm going to remove this empowered runestone rank 10 
open up my bank vault, put it here, go back to one of my alt characters, pick it up. Now again, you saw I had almost 350,000 refining points available there. So if I wanted to refine this, I will need regents and some awards, but it will also take 40,000 refining points to upgrade that. Once again, I'd much rather use the refining points from this character, which I don't use often, obviously. Okay, you saw I need a mark of potency rank five. I happen to have some of these in my bank already. I'll grab that, but I could also pick that up from the Wondrous Bazaar for 45,000 Astral Diamonds. And don't forget to check the auction house, which I'm doing right now. It's still a little higher there, so it was a better deal to buy it here. I will go ahead and buy one here. Let's get one, go back to inventory and refine. And then you need those wards I was also talking about. So I want to upgrade that to rank 11. You can try it once or till it succeeds. These are expensive and I don't quite trust the system. So I just do it once. <laughs> and we work hard to get our Astro Diamonds here. Now, some players also seem to think that going to an instance with fewer players helps improve your chances of making an upgrade. I've tried it both ways in populated zones and non-populated. I haven't noticed much of a difference. There we go. So that is rank 11 now. And you can see I spent the refining points there. And again, this was not an account bound item. So I can send that back to my main character and do it again. Please subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for watching.